All right, today I'm gonna to be making the cabinet door. Let's do it. One by four by eight. I need two styles of two rails. Remember which ones are the rails, which ones are the styles. I always think the rails go like this, but they actually go this way. The styles go this way, but I can't trick myself into remembering that. Okay, so these are the styles. Rails are shorter. The, the rails are a little bit tricky because they go inside the styles, but then you also have to add three eighths of an inch on either side for the tenants. So I'm gonna cut it three quarters of an inch longer so that I can um, make room for those tenants on either side. So instead of cutting this at 14 inches, which is the width of the styles, I'm going to cut it 14 and 3 quarters so that when I cut down the tenons, it will be 14 inches when I put together. Hope that makes sense. Awesome is that one well my four by eight made the entire door. A few inches to spare, so hopefully I don't mess it up. I think I only got one. That's all that's left. tenon, so I have a groove. I also need to cut the, um, the inset, but I'm going to do that after I put together the frame. So this is how I'm going to cut the tenon. So this is 3 eighths of an inch in, and it's going to be a quarter inch thick, so I'm cutting off the outer parts. Uh, so that all that's going to be left is this tenon. Uh, which is going to slide into the groove that I'm going to cut on the styles. Uh, we're going to cut the grooves in the rails and styles. So the first thing we have to do is get our blade height right. So I have these setup blocks which come in really handy. Um, we're setting it to 3 eighths of an inch because that's how deep we want the groove and that's going to be also the depth of the tenons that we're going to cut. So I'm just going to put this right up to the blade and lower it down until I get it just to the top. Now I need to set the fence so that the blade is lined up in the middle of the board. It doesn't have to be perfect um, because we're going to end up flipping it around uh, to make sure that it's right in the center. Uh, I'm also going to use a scrap piece of wood as my tester to get it perfect after the first pass. And then once the scrap piece is perfect, then I'm going to run all four pieces. So this little piece is going to be my scrap. 
gonna line it up with the bigger piece. So you can see how the board is lined up pretty close to center. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so again, I've got the blade up to three-eighths of an inch, and I've got it lined up, the fence lined up, so it's cutting right in the center, and I'm just going to run each piece along the fence one time, and that is step one. So now we've got one groove cut in all the pieces. Now we go back to the scrap. And these are micro adjustments because we're going to be flipping it. So it's actually going to cut off the same amount on either side and get it perfectly centered. So this isn't even a blade width closer. So we're going to try that. So, don't think it's going to be wide enough, but I'm going to go get my uh, quarter inch plywood to tuck. Alright, here's my quarter inch ply. Oh, just a little bit too tight, doesn't fit. Not by much. I could force it in. So, I can get it in. I could force it in, but it's too tight. I want it to sit in. Comfortably. So, almost got it. Another micro adjustment. Just barely touching the blade. Too big now. Yep. Too big. Now I gotta start over. It's too big. So I'm gonna use the other side. I'll line it back up with the original cut. Okay. Too tight again. Okay. I didn't flip it around because then it'll be too big, so we're just going to go with it. Alright, now that I got the test piece perfect, I can run all four through at the same setting.
Okay, now we need to cut the styles. All right, now it's time to cut the tenons. I've added a piece of scrap wood here to use as a guide a few inches back from the blade. And also going to be using the uh, cross cut sled. Make it easy to slide the piece of wood back and forth. So the blade's already at 3 eighths of an inch. Now I'm going to move the sled, sorry, the fence, and adjust it. But it's just inside the line. So you can see the blade is just on the inside of the line, and the height will be up to three eighths. And then Flipping the board back and forth, I can cut the tip. No, I actually need to lower the blade. It's not at the right height. Because three eighths is too big. So I'm taking off a quarter. So I'm going to lower the blade. Plus, I'm going to do this with the scrap bit first. that much cut. Looks like it needs to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to raise the blade up just a little bit. Too big. I need to raise the blade just a hair.
see it's not quite sitting all the way down. So I need to adjust the fence away from the blade just a hair. And then I think it'll be good. So close. Perfectly seated now and perfect on one side and then the other side has just a tiny little gap. I'm not sure why. I think I can move that. Pretty good. So now we gotta do all three other sides. Look at this. This is so weird. It's perfect here. Seated nicely. And then look at this. It's like it's like it's not square. This side looks good, so I'll just have to make sure that this is the outside. One more piece. Alright, now I've got to cut the panel for the door. So to measure for that, I'm going to make a mark at the end of the tenon on either side and then subtract an eighth of an inch to give it some play. For the other dimension, I'm just going to measure the rail from a tenon, the edge of the tenon to the edge of the tenon and subtract an eighth of an inch.
side so I can slide it. I made that. 